Oh my god, two videos in one week. It's a miracle, I tell you. I don't know what's going on, but this can't keep up, man. This is too much. <laughs> Welcome back, people. Welcome back. So today... Let's see what, what's in the box. What's in the box? Let's find out what's in the box. Uh, one of the people who watched that movie is going to know what I'm referencing to. For those of you who don't know, it's I think it's Brad Pitt and 12 Monkeys. I think that's it. I don't know. There is a lot of pieces. I guess those are the brackets. Another bracket. All right, so let's see what we got here. Damn phone. So this is the rear diffuser. So um, one piece here. And man, I hope I can do what I want to do with this. I might have to just go black, but we shall see. Now let's see the front lip. Ow. Front lip. Nice ABS plastic or whatever the heck it's made out of here. This is one of the things to hold it on here. I think the other one goes there or something of the sort. Yep, that's it. These are the two side fins, I think. What's this? Okay, so this screws on the car. And then I think this screws on here. Yep, like this. So that's the side right there. So this is going to be in carbon here. Because I don't think you're going to see any of this. And if you do, I'll just paint this black. And this goes in here and screws on. This bolts to the car. One side fin. So we got two of these left and the right. Front and rear. And the rear also comes with... I guess this gets bolted on the car and then the frame, the frame, <laughs> the, the rear, this. Just like that. Oh shit, they got clips, you just clip them in. That's nice. Wow, that is wicked. So once you mount the bracket to the car, this just snaps in. I don't want to snap it in yet, but wow, that is pretty neat. Because I saw someone drop me one of these before and it was, trust me, there's no way we're getting it on. But I guess you mount, uh oh, you might also mount this to the car and then uh, something get bolted to something somehow. I have to figure that one out. I'm not sure how it works yet, but I will figure it out. But before, I have to, <laughs> I got some experimenting to do. Stand by. I'm gonna be working on the body kit for the X5 and I was gonna buy a carbon fiber one but then I decided to do something different. So what I'm going to do, it's the same body kit but except being in carbon fiber just straight up AB, whatever plastic they make it out of. And I'm going to, um, uh, what do you call it, do forged carbon. So I don't, I've never done either this before either just like I've never done other carbon before. But I'm going to try Ford Carbon, something different. I mean, yes, I love carbon fiber. Everybody loves carbon fiber. But the same way I went with the honeycomb in my car, I'm going to try the Ford Carbon and uh, on the X5 and see how it turns out. So I'm not guaranteeing anything, but let's see how it turns out. So. Okay, we'll take that, maybe with a rave at the bend the trick if you can pay that. A small village. 
that you can say that But you'd rather take your brain, roll to reveal that I read that No telling hell no, middle finger, the coin tail pro Stick it to the real like it's fail pro What other country can you sell blow? And for less than a kilo, grade, you get an elbow I'm getting high, never come down Round up your guy, let me run it down Soon as it dries, I'ma run the town I found a side shooting trunk down A shot for every black man who got gunned down By the police with no conviction, still they run round When we protest, they tell us pipe down For Trayvon and Mike Brown CNN wanna make it black white Cause we hit the action with a This is what it looks like before you put on the peel ply it doesn't look too good but once you put the peel ply and then it hardens up and you peel it off sand it the first time then you're gonna see how the forged carbon look but for now this is how you want it to look let it get a little bit tackier so when you put the peel ply on you're able to roll it out nicely but yeah now I'm gonna put the peel ply on here well there it is after I put the, um, the peel ply on, now I gotta get it off. And the number one thing is, trust me, take my word for it, be careful. Because this thing will slit you open. Not the peel ply, but all the edges. And I got many bruises to show it. And this is gonna be a little bit hard to come off. So let me rip it off and then I'll show you what it looks like. Now it doesn't look anything like forged carbon, but just give me a few minutes after I do a, do some sanding, you will see the forged carbon start coming out. Now it just looks like the peel ply, but at least now it's level, somewhat level. As you can see there's ridges, but once I sand that down and get some of these damn prickly things out of my hand, it will start looking like forged carbon. Stay tuned. Now I'm just running into crazy problems with this uh, with this, this this forged carbon. It's not the carbon itself; is the resin or epoxy or whatever the hell you want to call it. What I'm using, I'm not using the one that I used before, which that's where the problem lies. I tried this new one from the same guy, um, Street Bandito, Street Bandito, whatever. He's the one I saw using the West system before, and then he switched to this system 1000, system 2000. I'll show you in a minute and I am having nothing but problems. So let me show you what I've been using and then I'll show you the issue that I'm having. So this is what I've been using and I'm having nothing but problems. And I fall in the mix ratio and I did a little piece the other day. I left it two days, come back and pick it up and it's just kind of grimy and sticky. This is what it looks like afterwards. Look at that. It look worse than a freaking teenager with a bad case of acne. Like, I don't know. It just even looked like it's cracking up, man. I don't know what the hell is going on with it. I'm just fixing the thing here that I sanded through here and there. But no, I got to sand through all this crap. Like, I, I really don't know, man. All the white, like, it's just nasty looking, man. And I just don't get it. I really don't get it. So I'm going to try and sand this stuff off. And... You should see. look at my side skirt that I was redoing. Just look at that crap. I mean, I don't know. I'm just gonna start over fresh again with different stuff. Yeah, my oven broke and I had to go get a new one. Look what I got for a hundred bucks on Kijiji. Just, you gotta love Kijiji, I tell you. And this thing is here because this is a 1000, big boy to mine. We're gonna be, you know, he's gonna be adjusting the suspension because Mr. Is a, is a rider and he takes it to the track and you know he's been doing all sort of research and stuff. And I think we might paint it next year. Who knows? We'll see. He keeps changing his mind. But yeah, it's here for some modifications also. So I'm just going to start working on this thing, sign it away and hope I get most of this crap off and then see where I go from there. Now you drink up all my liquor, come on, what I'm supposed to do now? And you talk, get all that shit, now come on, you gon' have to back it up. I sanded it I didn't like the way it looked so I decided to put another layer on there again and then I'll see how it goes from there but I hope this time I'm using a different resin this time so um, 
and let's hope it looks better. I used some on here and it smoothed out quite well. I mean, look at that thing. If it would only stay like that. So please, I'm begging you, just stay like that until I'm done. But now I'm just gonna put the peel ply on here and leave it for now. Rip it off tomorrow, sand it, and hope it comes out good. It's getting dark, so you know, if it's too dark, you guys won't, won't be able to see this beautiful face. But I'm just gonna leave that last coat to dry on there, peel it off tomorrow, sand it, and hope it comes all right. It's looking good for now with the different epoxy, but I hope it stays that way. I won't know until tomorrow or later on when I come out. I will see if it's, um, if it starts doing that, that thing again. And I hope to God it doesn't, but you guys see the process. I'm telling you, man, if, if everything worked the way it was supposed to, this would have been done and be put on the car already. But because of that damn epoxy, I don't know, but share, like, subscribe. Laters.